We're going to be tying up a Bucky or Hare's ear. We'll start off with some tan thread, secure it to our hook shank, and snap the excess free. Continue wrapping till you reach the bend of your hook, then grab a rabbit mask. Snip a pinch of fibers free, measure them to length, and secure them to the back of your fly. Securing the tag ends tightly to help build up the body and bring your thread forward. We'll then grab some gold wire, inserting it into our bead and wrapping back towards the tail, at which point we'll bring our thread forward and grab some ostrich hurl. Here I'm using white. Secure the ostrich hurl to your hook shank, once again wrapping back towards your tail, at which point we'll grab some hair's ear, create a dubbing noodle, and begin to wrap it forward in closed touching spirals, building up a transition and stopping just short of our bead. At which point we'll grab our ostrich hurl and begin wrapping it forward in open spirals, being careful not to pull too hard and break the ostrich off. Doing so until we reach our thread, secure it tightly, snip your excess free, grabbing your gold wire and counter wrapping the ostrich hurl to add some durability and flash to our pattern. Secure the wire in place, taking thread wraps both in front, as well as behind the wire, and helicoptering the excess free. And of course, brush everything out to give it a nice, buggy look. We'll then grab some flashaboo, secure it to the head of our fly, wrapping back towards our body, followed by a turkey flat. Snip a small clump free, about 8 to 10 fibers, securing it to the head of your fly, once again wrapping back towards our body. Before creating another dubbing noodle, this time a bit looser than the first, and begin wrapping it forward in closed touching spirals, continuing to add to our transition until we reach the head of the fly, adding a single thread wrap in front of it to help brush it back, and of course, brush everything out to give it a nice, buggy look. Next, we'll fold over our turkey tail, secure it tightly to the head of our fly, followed by our flashaboo, securing both in front, as well as behind, and snipping the excess free. Whip finish to hold everything tightly in place. Snip your thread free and paint over the back with some UV resin, adding some durability and shine to our pattern. And this is how I personally like to tie hair's ears. Of course it's a bit buckier, but specifically, I tie these to represent the profile of mayflies. And they work especially well in the spring and summer months. And I'd highly recommend giving it a try, both in natural, olive, as well as brown. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.